Good morning, everyone. So it's day three of our Japan trip, and oh, we woke up so early today. I got up at 5.30, and I just couldn't go back to sleep. Given last night, I think we passed out at around 10.30, 11, though, because we were so tired from all the walking. Because we went to Tsukiji Fish Market, then we went to Tsukishima. Oh, wait, I didn't butcher that. And then we met up with our friends Miki and her boyfriend Taka at... Where did we meet them? At... No, we went to Asakusa after, but we meant to go to Tokyo Sky Tree. So, a lot of walking and we're just a little bit tired. But I'm feeling okay right now. Just waiting for Kelvin to finish showering because even though he takes only a little bit of time to get ready in the morning, he still ends up being the last one. I don't know. So, hoping to... Go get some breakfast, get some food, and then oh, we're going to the Studio Ghibli Museum. So excited for all that Totoro and all the other cool stuff because I love that, what's it called, their studio and what they produce. It's amazing stuff, so I'm really excited. And then afterward, we're going to the Kit Kat store. <laughs> gonna get a lot of green tea Kit Kats, maybe some strange flavor Kit Kats. I know Tiffany, my sister, wants a bunch of those, and same with a bunch of my other friends. So that's what we'll be getting, and just waiting on Kelvin now. So here we have the chef cooking our breakfast fresh. We've both got soba, hot soba noodles, and they were just in some sort of hot broth. I got prawns, and Kelvin got a bunch of random veg in his. Feels like. We randomly, we got off the train and we randomly found like a small bakery, but there's like literally, the station is Itaka Station. And there's literally like a million bakeries inside, yeah. but we just, you know, That's so cute. Look, it's right. like a tiny, tiny local something. Where's mine? Okay. Thanks, Oh, it's really, it's really cold here though. Itadakimasu. Hmm. Are you excited for this HB? Yeah. It's so cool here. It's like a Yeah, it looks like from they said they said we can take photos from the outside and it looks sort of like this. It looks like a big ass house. Oh wait, look, look over here. There's a little. <laughs> yeah, cool. I want to live in here. Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, uh. Ikimasu. We did get one photo though. All right, so here's the only footage we could get inside the Ghibli Museum because I said you couldn't take any pictures inside. But hey, we were outside. Nothing exciting though, guys. Sorry. Uh, I think I'm just like anything strawberry. I'm like, this is so good. No, not the strawberry. Anything fruity is good, pretty much. It's mm. like um, strawberry custard with uh, like in, in a brioche. So, pretty much. Was she this stuff? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all I think I know when I'm like this, but I like this. Yes. Okay, I want to know what that center thing is in here. Mm. It's like, um, it's like sugar. Yeah. Uh, okay guys, so now I'm going to open mine. It's this thing here. 
I don't know what it is. Calvin, do you remember what it was called? Forgot. I thought I heard you say sticky of sorts, but I'm not sure. Okay, Calvin, I need you to hold the camera. I can't do the one-handed thing. We're still outside the station right now, and it's got like, when it's literally like, a bench to sit on. A lot of, a bunch of bakeries. Oh, I think it's caramel something that's like a thin disc layer here. You can see that. It just takes a while to focus, honestly. Okay. It smells like caramel. Mm. What does yours taste like? I'm gonna draw your attention to this. Mine is better, so. I'm, I'm taking a mental <laughs> or a physical memory right here. Mmm. Can't eat this all day. And to the Ghibli Museum, Ghibli Museum, was oh, actually really cool. Mm. What was that phrase you used, Calvin? You said. Oh, when you go inside, it's all the feels when you're inside. Because the music's playing, it just looks really cute as well. I wish we could have taken a video, but... Actually, we have one picture from there because we're allowed to take it on the outside. I was also going to end the building while I take it, because apparently... So, how about you? What's your favorite part? The, um... I think my favorite part was the... Um, I can't really... It's hard to describe without being without you being there but when you go inside um, like a smaller room and it's got like um, sort of like their work their work like a fake office oh, type thing. Of what it looked like when they were working there. Yeah 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 I don't actually don't I don't actually don't think that the work environment there, was that that nice but it was like yeah like they would have liked you to think that that was their like creative workplace and that's Originally, where they maybe the first actually but it was uh, it was really good. I just like one thing one complaint I have is like there's just like too many, um, too many what? Too many, too many, too many mainlanders. They're just like not respecting the Japanese culture and they're just like letting their kids run around and like, like touching stuff and like running like, Bleh. But the kids are allowed to touch some things. Ooh, there's one kid's room, it was, um, what's that bus called? Like, oh, there's a, the like the there's cat a, from the bus. There's a cat yeah. bus. Yeah. So they have like a giant, I don't know if but a giant version of it. So kids can crawl around inside and it's really cute. And they also have um, those little black furry ball guys from Spirited Away, I think. So there's running around everywhere. So adorable. We had to do it again, but it's so cute. Imagine a giant plushy cat bus with fluffy little black critters. On a personal note, I think my Japanese is getting better. I get to practice a lot here. Alright guys, so we're showing you these cakes because honestly they were more impressive than the Kit Kat store. I was imagining a really big, well somewhat substantial sized store with a lot of different Kit Kat flavors, but it was just this small little stand in the corner of a food mart in the basement of a Japanese shopping mall. Oh, the, the sign is humongous though. Oh, I can't oh, see it. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, let's find out what's all about then, I guess. I thought, I thought it would be a lot busier. I thought it would be a lot more crowded, but maybe this is a little bit. Your room, anything is good. 
Yeah, they're like the regular flavor, but they have like phrases on it. Uh, it's like, oh yeah, I do your best, or like something like, like that. Like New Year's kind of thing, right? Yeah. How about the one that's, oh, I yeah. can't show you right now because I can't grab it. In my lap here, I can't move. Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh, shoot, this one's different too. It's oh, like there's half like a, white yeah, chocolate, yeah, there's right? a white chocolate. And regular? Yeah, these are mini though, they're small. But they're always small, aren't they? And then we got, got more of this stuff because this is addictive. This stuff it's so good too. Yeah. So this looks like potato chip sticks. Did you just find? <coughs> this is like the you make a candy, so like it looks like a like a bento, but it's just all like candy. But it's all like DIY. It comes in only like um like powder form and then you add water and stir and stuff like that. We Maybe shall we'll try it later and then we'll show you guys. Maybe we'll buy a few because it's just sort of like funny omiyage. Yeah. But, oh, it's a sushi one! I don't know if people can read the instructions. Well, we'll have hard. to work on it with them then. And no, there's you, cake, no. donuts, and hamburgers. Oh man. That's pretty easy, I guess. You just look at the picture. Well, no, remember Eat Your Kimchi did it and then they screwed their sushi one up. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. I think let's get a sushi one and a bento one. Oh, some are cheaper than others, I think. This one's only like... I think the bento one's smaller. 